everyone this is Brooke again and I'm back with another video this time I'd like to show you my room I've been requested um, several times ever since I changed my background you see that um, behind me it's all pink and when I put that picture on Instagram someone said that they would like a room tour and then I've gotten a few other messages asking for a room tour and plus I love to watch these kind of videos because I like to see how people live and decorating ideas and what kind of things I could do differently Now I was gonna wait a while to do this video because there's parts of my room that aren't decorated yet and that I still don't know what to do with but rather than waiting and dragging this out I just wanted to get going and show you what I have and then maybe later on do an updated video. Um, so I'll just get started. want to warn you right now that if you don't like pink, you're not going to like this because I love it and it's all over the place in here. That's why I love my room. It's my retreat. It's my hiding place. I have my candles going, my pink all around me, and I just feel great. So I'll just warn you about that right off. And if you have anything that I show that you want to see in greater detail, like a desk tour, I, I mentioned in there later that if you want a closet tour, anything like that, either thumbs up this video so I know that you like this kind of thing, or just let me know in the comments what you want to see uh, more of. So, without any further rambling, I will get started. Okay everyone, we're going to go into my bedroom now, and just for a frame of reference, my bedroom is on the first floor, and behind me is the living room. So I'm going to walk in right now and show you what it looks like. And this is what I see when I walk in. I'll pan around and give you a good idea what it looks like. Okay, and then I'm standing in front of the door right now. And what I will do is walk around. I'll start over on this side right by the door and then give you a full circle and then we'll be done. So, just stepping back here a little bit. The first thing that's by my door is my pink Christmas tree and I love it. It is the end of January right now and I am going to keep my tree up all winter, I decided. It keeps me um, excited and happy. It's a light pink tree with hot pink ornaments and some of them have glitter on it. It's very girly and I love it so I'm just gonna keep that up then moving on over you see where I keep my candle collection and my tall boots um, down below here the first pair of boots I got recently and I'm gonna crouch down um, my pink cowboy boots look at those I love them and next to those I have my tall pink Ugg boots and then moving on along in there are um, other tall boots that I have. It's winter right now, so they're out on display. Um, in the summertime, I put them in boxes underneath my bed. But if you see this crazy thing right here, I'll just get back down. This right here is a boot stand that I made um, using a pair of long socks and I stuffed them with newspaper just rolled up newspaper but I have those in all of my boots and that was just a fun project to do one day to make sure that all my boots stand up and look nice in this room then looking up I'll back up again is my candle collection it's just on a table here that my husband made and we painted a bubblegum pink by Glidden if you are concerned with the color of my walls it's called sexy pink and it's also by Glidden I got both of those at Walmart but here's just a shot of my candle collection everything is from Bath and Body Works and um, anyone wants to see a, a more detailed video about my candle collection feel free to let me know I can do that as you see I have quite a bit and I love their candles um, Moving on, this is the door to my my bathroom and my closet. Over here is my jewelry armoire. I made a whole video about this, so if you would like to see that, I will link it below. But just so you know, inside, when you open it up, this is what it looks like. And I can fit most of my stuff in there. 
I'll show you where I have a few other things. But that's really great. I love it. It is um, oak, which matches the rest of my room. And I put a pink bow on there. And moving along, this is my dresser and a mirror. And I love having mirrors in here because it makes the room look larger. But if I come to the dresser a little closer, I can show you some things that I have on there. Just um, my pink boom box, alarm clock, a little pink French poodle I got. Um, here are all my Tiffany boxes and a watch. This is where I keep my Louis Vuitton bracelet and I just keep it in this pouch right here and over here I have some candles I have this lamp right here which I absolutely love and I hung a Valentine's decoration there I love Valentine's Day because it allows me to decorate my room with nice feminine romantic and pink things here are some pictures in case I you're wondering that is my husband and I when we started dating, my cat, wedding picture, me when I was pregnant with my first, and then there's my boys when they were little. Back here I have my Pandora jewelry collection, and these are all the boxes that I have my things in. I've acquired several bracelets now, so if you would like an updated Pandora collection video, let me know. That's always in progress. And over here I just have some flowers and some knickknacks, a pretty pink tiara that I found, a nice pink um, box that's got, um, I don't know, this is like porcelain. I found it at a rummage sale for $5. I was really happy about that. Um, a ring holder that I have to keep my watches on, and a little pink thing, and another candle from Bath & Body Works. Over here, it's kind of like the sitting area. You see it's a nice comfy chair and an ottoman with the magazine that I'm reading currently. Um, back here is a plant stand that I keep books in. Um, that just kind of, you know, are romantic and rem I picked up when we first started dating. And over here I have a nice soft pink pillow, little pink pillow pet. And back here are two prayer shawls that friends made me. And um, they're nice for wrapping up in. This over here is my husband's nightstand and his side of the bed. It's very boring. Oh, I'll show you um, back over here. I only have three drawers. This one is basically empty. It's where I keep my um, Louis Vuitton bracelet box, all the bows that I got from Tiffany boxes, and then um, my Michael Kors watch box. That's where I just plan on putting more boxes as I accumulate more stuff. This drawer is pajamas. And this drawer is workout clothes. Haven't used those much in a long time, but that's that. Then going back this way is my bed. Um, the furniture is very old. Not that old. I mean, we've got it like maybe 15 years ago. And the comforter set, it's from domestications.com or the catalog. And just a little pink throw pillow on the front that is um, very fuzzy, very soft. My son got me that for Christmas from Walmart. And then going back, oh, let's go back down here. In front here, I just have a couple of storage boxes. They're made out of fabric and they're from Target. In this one, I keep my old purses that I don't use. And in this one, I keep, actually, that one's empty right now always need room for more storage so that one's empty I have a couple pair of shoes that don't fit in my shoe closet um, I have a nice organization system in my closet if anyone would like to see how I store my shoes let me know but in front here I have my Louis Vuitton keep all 50 bag and um, I'm not the kind that keeps my Louis Vuitton items in a storage uh, boxes or dust bags I keep them all out so you will see more of my bags around my room then going this way over here is just a little um, bag that I keep odds and ends in and on top I have a couple sun hats that I just like to keep on display I do wear them in the summer underneath there is a Louis Vuitton box that my Neverfull MM came in and inside there I keep all my bags and 
receipts and paraphernalia that come with the Louis Vuitton items and I just keep them all in that box and it, it works out really great for me. Down below is a popcorn tin that I got from Garrett's Popcorn Shop in Chicago. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. That's what that looks like. Best popcorn in the world comes from Garrett's in Chicago. Hey. And then going back a little bit, I have a pink stuffed bear. And then these are two boxes that I keep memorabilia in from when my husband and I first started dating. All, you know, show tickets and, and playbills and things like that. Then looking up here, this is my desk area. This is what you see when I film a lot of my videos. And just starting over here, I have a pink file cabinet. Yes, it is pink. And I love it. I got it from Walmart. It was only like $40. And hanging on there is my Louis Vuitton small or er, petite bucket bag. Up above, I have a flower arrangement that I made and um, frames. This right here is a chocolate um, tin that I got in Paris. And then um, knickknacks. I love knickknacks, and they're all pink. You know, when people know that you like to collect something, you tend to get a lot of it. Um, here is my chair. It is from Ikea. It's a plastic swivel chair. Let me see. And I have a big Hello Kitty pillow on there. Um, I have a girlfriend that's a big Hello Kitty fan, and she got me to start getting a few things. So there I'm representing all the Hello Kitty fans. And over here is the back of my desk with all of my knickknacks that I love. Um, lots of girly things. You see I go up a little bit and the wall hanging. These two canvases I just painted with pink paint. The shelves are from Target. And on there I have pictures. Uh, let's see if we can get in there. This right here is a picture of my best friend and I at um, my 40th birthday party, which was all pink. You can see the balloons in the background. There's another friend. And um, right here, I got to point out, this is a girl. She started off as a foreign exchange student, and since then, she's become like my adopted daughter. She is from Spain, and we're like mother and daughter still, so that's great. Um, little Eiffel Tower from Paris. Fleur de Lis that I painted pink. More stuff, me with some from some friends. And a little flower. I like keeping that flower here because I have the identical one in my car. I have a little beetle and it has a vase. So I keep a pink flower in there. And this is just more stuff on my desk. I won't go through everything. If you want a desk tour, please let me know. But um, just to let you know, I have a Bath and Body Works candle burning right here. It's cashmere and it smells great. This is my first time burning it. And um, my computer. It's also pink. It is uh, just a netbook, and I do all of my filming, editing there, and all of my computer. It's, it's, it's great. It's all I need. And then a few more things on my computer. My desk happens to be, if you're interested, a, a kind of an antique. Someone in my husband's family made it a very long time ago. It's actually a dining table, but I took off the leaf that would have kind of swung out this way. And I just use it as a desk. Oh, down below there is my Luco tote by Louis Vuitton. And um, that brings me over here to my bookcase. Now, normally I wouldn't point out things on my bookcase, but I have had several requests now that I show what's on my bookcase or give kind of a bookcase tour. So I will point out a few things that are there. Um, if you want something more in depth, let me know. And again, I can. I can go back over things. But just starting off, this is what you see sometimes in my videos. This is my pink Build-A-Bear. Her name is Pinky. Say hello. And she's dressed up in sequins, just something like I would do. She's got her pink shades on and Mary Jane shoes, so that's great. And she stick she's actually is sitting on a stack of Bibles. Um, I am a Christian, and I do enjoy going to church and studying the Bible. And I have every version that they have made, and they're all in pink. So down here are one, two, three, four. And then over here I have another two. 
and down below, right down there, is another one. Then just kind of going down lower on my shelves, um, these books all here, if I can get in close, the window's right by me. The author is Kristen Heitzman, and if you like Christian fiction, she is my favorite. These books all over here are by her, and I just love them. They're a light read, nice romantic, good optimistic, upbeat stories. So you want to read those if you like those. And down below, I have more books. Um, I collected a lot of books when I became just became a mother. So some of my books are on, like, you see here, Professionalizing Motherhood, Mom PhD, um, things like that. Then I also have some books on, like, Bible study topics. And this book right here I want to point out is very good. Karen Kingsbury. I'm going to read this again sometime. But it's a really good story on redemption. And these two books right here are kind of special to me because I suffered from a really bad case of postpartum depression. And here are two books from, you know, this one is Brooke Shields. She wrote about her, her situation and another woman who wrote about her situation that I want to read at some time. And then down here are just other books that I use for Bible study. Um, I don't really do a lot of Bible study anymore, but back um, when my kids were small, I did a ton of it, and I just have a lot of resources there. So that is that. Okay, then looking back this way, you can see the other side of my room, the tree and the candle collection. Down below, that's just where I put my purse that I'm using, and I happen to be using my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. I've been using that every day since I got it about nine months ago. And just looking back over this way is my nightstand. I have on display my Speedy 25, which was my first bag, my first Louis Vuitton bag ever. I have a nice video about that. It was my first video, actually. And um, tied to there, I have a Louis Vuitton bandeau scarf. I bought it to kind of wear, but it just kind of didn't, I just kind of didn't like it for the winter time. So I tied it to my bag for decoration. And uh, let's see here, my phone and a memo cube for taking notes. Well, there's my iPhone cover. It's a 4S and it's like a pink, pink sparkly leopard print. And this happens to be a little coaster that I crocheted myself because I wanted something pink and I couldn't find it in the stores. Down below here is um, my pochette bag, my Louis Vuitton pochette bag. I just kind of keep it dangled to the side here. And you can see I have a pink charger cord for my iPhone. I got that really cheap on eBay. I'm going to move it aside so that I can open the drawer and show you what's inside. This is my nightstand drawer, things that I want to be close by me when I am in bed. Because when I get in bed, I don't like to get out for any reason. And, um, you know, just here I have my hair bonnet, um, a little rag to wipe my eyes when they're weepy, a pair of soft socks in case I get cold, a pocket back, a mirror, EOS lip balm, Hello Kitty lip balm, more Hello Kitty lip balm down there. Over here I have... Vaseline that I like to put on my feet before I go to bed. Some other things down there. Another charger cord for my nook. Um, and playing cards. There. Yeah, they are pink. In case I want to whip out a game of solitaire or something like that. Um, I also have an old roll of film. Headphones. Yep, just little essentials in there. And then down below here, we'll take that off. In this drawer, I have... In the back there is where I keep some of my uh, candle holders from Bath & Body Works. And I also have in this compartment right there some refills for my scent portables. In here is a whole thing full of wallflower refills from Bath & Body Works. I have a couple of makeup bags right here. Actually this one, it's a little beaded pouch that I keep my camera in. Um, more wallflower refills. This is the passion flower and that's what I keep in my bathroom so I always want some of those. And here's just a little extra scent portable that I used to keep in my car but it got replaced by a different one. 
Um, and this one, my opera glasses, which I love. I love the opera. I go to see that whenever I can. And here are my glasses. They are the fancy kind that that you hold with the handle. So, yep, got those. Some yarn and a needle that I, I do crocheting with. I'm going to work on making a cup cozy pretty soon. And then some things that were in my Christmas stocking, some Hello Kitty Jelly Bellies. I am from Wisconsin, and we do have a Jelly Belly plant here. And it's um, one of the things I always like to send to Europe to my kids. And I just love that. So that was the nightstand. What I'm going to do now is back up and let you see the room again. So here is the room again. Let me back up a little more. So you can see that wall completely. Um, this wall is pretty blank. I don't know what I want to do there yet. Uh, I don't know if I want some kind of a mirror or a big picture or what. But if you have any ideas, let me know because there some, needs to be something there. And then over here is my dresser. And then back this way is my bed my nightstand, and my desk, and some storage. So that's pretty much it for my room tour. I thank you for watching. If you would like to see a closet tour, please let me know. I have um, a pinked out closet as well with some kind of interesting storage ideas. So let me know if you'd like to see that, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and I will be back soon. Bye-bye.